Okay, great. Now that we have gone through the plan scope management process, let's review the inputs, tools, and techniques, and the outputs. Well, what you had coming in were, well, pretty obvious ones. One we had was the, let me see if I can draw this pretty well here, but what we had was a charter because the charter was giving us all the information about our project and the sponsor and the high level detail, all that kind of information is very useful. And so that's an input. Likewise, more than just the charter, when you start to get more into the details, you have, I'm going to draw a file cabinet that's going to have all of the various different plans that we have because that is our project management plan. And so it is our baselines, it's our various different uh, outputs of all the different processes all built in here that's going to help us. And yes, the scope management plan, the output that we're getting here, is in fact one of the inputs. So it is cyclical in a way. And then you have the various different process assets. So those are your templates, your tools, your, I mean, your um, the, the policies, procedures, things like that. So that's your organizational process assets. And then the company culture and what you live and work in and so I can draw various different buildings and that will represent just sort of the environment that you're in so environmental enterprise environmental factors all right pretty straightforward when it comes to the inputs nothing too outrageous or confusing and then pretty much it goes the same with the tool and the techniques as you're trying to build out how you want to manage the scope of your project well a lot of that is just know-how you know, how do you know how to do that? And so, you know, I'll draw this guy thinking and, and you know, using the experience and the knowledge and the uh, expertise within your organization, how you've done it before, how you should do it differently. You know, um, what's the good, the bad, the ugly, all that kind of stuff. So expert judgment is kind of that catch all of everything and anything that we know from our past and our experience and learning and training and knowledge, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then a lot of meetings are going to also take place, whether it's conference calls or, con or presentations or discussions. Maybe it's just a few people. Maybe it's a lot of people. But there's going to have to be times to have those conversations. And so when you have these conversations, a lot of discussions are being figured out. And one of those conversations you should probably have, or at least a mental exercise, is thinking, well, do we go this way or question mark should we go that way what's the difference you know the alternatives thinking about analyzing those different alternatives and thinking about where things could go right could go wrong and you're probably going to be doing this throughout your project when it comes to how best to manage the scope but it's important to call it out and and really any other data gathering techniques that you might have in your industry remember the PMBOK is sort of general so it's just saying data gathering I should probably not make it plural um, then your outputs then well <laughs> should be pretty obvious if the whole idea here is to figure out how to plan out how to best manage our scope of the project and but that goes both for the product scope and the project scope well then no surprise it should be our plan for how to manage the scope let me write scope first. So scope management plan. Pretty s straightforward because that is our goal and our objective for this process is to, well, give us some guidance on how we want to best roll things through. And now part of scope two, we have a set of requirements and that we're going to have to also help manage and deal with so we might even have a sub plan or a, a variation of this and that is dealing with the requirements so you have a requirements management plan as well but that is it that's the crowd trainings look at the inputs outputs tools and techniques of the plan risk sorry plan scope management process in the sixth edition of the pinbach